YouTube here with another video for you. As most of you know, Apple Jazz recently released their new operating system, Mavericks 10.9, and you can get it now free from the App Store. Speaking of free, that's one of my favorite four letter words, second it to food. Even better, if you put both of them together, free food. But more on a serious note, in this video I will show you how to create a USB bootable drive. I have tried the Unibeast guide from Tony Mac. It didn't work for me. So I tried an older method, which got me 95% there. I will explain the other 5% a little later on in this video. But before we begin, let me give you a quick overview of the specs of my system. The motherboard is a Zeus. P8Z68 Deluxe Gen 3. The CPU is an Intel 2700K i7. The memory is made by Corsair from the Vengeance line. I got 16 gigabytes of that at 1600 megahertz. And my graphics card is a GTX 590. Before we get started, here's what we will need. A Mac or Hackintosh running 10.6 or higher. A 8 gigabyte USB drive or larger. Create an Apple account and download Mavericks app from the App Store. Create an account over at Tony Mac. Download Chameleon 2.2. Download Multi Beast. 6.0.0 download show all app file download extra folder and finally download packfest all the links are down in the description let's begin take your USB drive and connect it to any available USB port from the desktop, you want to navigate to Finder, Applications, Utilities folder, and open Disk Utility. Now you want to select your USB drive and click on the Partitions tab. Under Partition Layout, you want to select One Partition. Click Options and select GUID Partition Table and click OK. Over here, under Partition Information, Format, you want to select Mac OS Extended Journal. Click Apply, click Partition. Now that that's complete, you can minimize this utility. Navigate down to the folder where you downloaded the needed files and open it. Click on Show Hide Files. Now you want to navigate back to the Applications folder and locate install OS X Mavericks right click on it show package content click on contents shared support and mount install ESD dot DMG you can skip verification Now you want to um, unminimize this utility and drag over base systems.dmg. Select it. It will automatically take you over to the restore tab. And you want your USB drive to be the destination. Click. Restore. 
let you race. Now that the restore is complete, this window here automatically pops open. Uh, you can go ahead and close this utility. Put this window to the side. What you want to do is go to System, Installation, and Delete the Packages Shortcut. Now from the OSX Install ESD, you want to copy this folder over to your USB drive. Okay, the packages folder transfer is complete. We can go ahead and close the installation window. OSX base systems, we need to leave this one open. We can close OSX install ESD. Share support, um, go ahead and close that. Now we need to um, click on pacifist, open that up. Eh, do not install. Click on the open package tab. Navigate to your USB drive, which is labeled OSX base system. Click on the system folder, installation, packages, and click on package base system binaries. You want to extract the March kernel. Extract it to. Let's go ahead and do it to our desktop. Click choose. Click extract. Okay, when that's complete, you go ahead and close pacifist. And take the uh, Mars kernel and copy it to the root of the USB drive. Now you want to install Primera, a chameleon, to the USB drive. Click continue, continue, agree, change, install location. And select your USB drive, which is labeled OSX based system, continue, and install. and close uh, I can go ahead and close this window to the pack of fish application uh, one more step is to copy the extra folder to the root of a USB drive and now you're done be ready to install OS X Mavericks onto your system. I'd like to thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and share. If you like the video, please like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. And leave a comment telling me why you disliked the video or if you have any other questions relating to the video. Also, you can follow me at the following links.